the abdominal pain. Today we will focus on the acute abdominal pain. Pain is a symptom that is complaint of a patient and tenderness is a sign elicited by the doctor. Pain is one of the most important symptoms causing patient to seek health care. Abdominal pain may be due to the intra-abdominal or extra-abdominal causes. So for the pain, we should ask for the original site or location of pain, duration of pain, onset uh, which could be sudden or insidious, severity of pain, nature of pain, progression of pain, movement could be referred, radiations or shifting, aggravating factors, relieving factors, associated symptoms. Onset, onset may be explosive within seconds, rapidly progressive within one to two hours or gradual which could be over several hours. Nature of abdominal pain. First of all, nature of abdominal pain is colic. It is occurs due to muscular contraction of hollow tube. Uh, it is obstructed hollow organ and gripping in nature, fluctuates, usually severe and makes patient restless. Example, intestine colic, ureteric colic, or biliary colic. Note, in the strict sense, the term biliary colic is a misnomer because uh, biliary pain does not remit. The re reason is that the gallbladder and the bile duct, in contrast to the ureter and intestine, uh, do not have peristaltic movement. Second one is burning pain. That is, uh, in example, a peptic ulcer. Third one, throbbing pain. It is due to throbbing pain occurs due to beating or pounding strongly. Uh, uh, example of throbbing pain is liver abscess. Uh, pins or needle sensation or pricking. The example is peripheral nerves injuries. Stabbing like pain. Stabbing pain, which could be sudden, severe, sharp, and short lived. Example acute perforation peptic ulcer. Constricting pain. It can occur due to the constriction of blood vessels. So, example in angina pectoris, scalding like pain, example cystitis or urethritis, burning pains experienced during the urinating, this scalding pain is, and another one is movement, movement could be radiations, shifting pain or referred pain, in radiation the pain at other side as a original pain persists in initial site, example in uh, duodenal ulcer and pancreatitis, original pain uh, at uh, epigastric regions, which may be, uh, which may radiate to back. Shifting pain, pain originate at one site and later shift and fix to other site. Example in acute appendicitis, original pad, original pain at periumbilical or epigastric, but later shift to the right iliac fossa. Referred pain, pain is felt at distant. Uh, from its source, example, right shoulder pain is acute cholecystitis. The abdominal pain, which could be acute or chronic. In acute, there is a traumatic or non-traumatic. The acute versus chronic. While an arbitrary interval, such as 2 to 4 weeks, can be used to separate acute from chronic abdominal pain, there is no strict time period that would classify the differential diagnosis unfailingly. A clinical judgment must be made that consider whether this is an accelerating process, one that has reached a plateau, or one that is long standing but intermittent. Pain of uh, less than a few days' duration that has worsened progressively until the time of presentation is clearly acute. Pain that has remained, remained unchanged for monthly, months, or years can be safely classified as chronic. Pain that does not classify, that does not clearly fit either category might be called subacute or requires consideration, considerations of the differential diagnosis for both acute and chronic pain. Pain in a sick or unstable patients should be generally be managed as acute since patients with a chronic abdominal pain may be present with the acute exacerbation of chronic problem or, or new unrelated problems. Acute abdominal pains which is non-traumatic. It has two types, diffuse and localized. In diffuse, there is a, there could be peritonitis and non-peritonitis. And in peritonitis, uh, there could be uh, visceral perforations, pancreatitis, 
bowel obstructions with ischemia, uh, rupture, abdominal aortic aneurysms. Acute abdominal pain, we are talking about the non-traumatic. Uh, ab I already told ab abdominal pain, acute abdominal pain may be generalized or localized. If the pain is generalized, then we should ask for the site of origin, onset and duration of pain, where, when and how, history of periodicity, fever, history of peptic ulcer disease, enteric fever, risk factor of bowel porpoisons, alcohol intake, chronic alcohol use risks of uh, risk for the pancreatitis, ask for bowel habit, which could be absolute constipations, suggestive of obstructions, prior history of malina, suggestive of ruptor peptic ulcer, and also ask for the permitting. Then doctor also look for the uh, general examinations. In general examination, the general conditions of patients. Is the patient looking sick? If so, consider some sinister pathology. Look for dehydrations. Record vitals. Uh, in vitals, uh, look for the pulse, blood pressure, temperature, respiratory rate, etc. There may be tachycardia, hypertension, fever in bowel perforation or sepsis. Uh, look for the features of peritonitis, a tenderness with guarding and rebounds, absent uh, bowel sounds, suggestive of bowel perforation or small bowel obstruction with uh, ischemia. Horneal orifices, look for, looking for the evidences of obstructed hornea. Uh, uh, there is a, also look for the grey tunnel sign, uh, bruising in flanks or coolant sign, which is uh, bruising and around the umbilicus, present in the 1% of cases of acute pancreatitis and associated with poor uh, prognosis. Then investigations. In investigation, there be there the doctors should send for the blood for hematocrit, total count, count, uh, differential count, white count raised in infective uh, conditions, serum amylase for the pancreatitis, uh, chest X-ray, uh, which could be uh, which should be a PA view. Look for the pneumoperitoneum uh, present in bowel perforations. Serum creatinine, uh, electrolyte, uh, which is important in overall management of patients. Uh, the feature of peritonitis are absent in early stages of bowel obstructions, gastroenteritis, and constipations. The diagnostic consider or differential diagnosis. If there are feature of peritonitis, uh, consider the hollow viscous, hollow viscous uh, perforations. Uh, small bowel obstructions with ischemic bowel and abdominal uh, AA ruptures. In acute diffuse abdominal pain, uh, we already talked about the peritonitis and we are going to talk about the non no peritonitis. In no peritonitis, peritonitis there are abdominal or extra abdominal. Uh, we should distinguish uh, in between these abdominal and extra abdominal. In abdominal, there is gastroenteritis, uh, small bowel obstructions with no ischemia, muscular pain, mesenteric ischemia, and peptic ulcer disease. These are all in abdominal. In diffuse abdominal pain with no features of peritonitis, the mesenteric ischemia, the, uh, there is pain out of the proportion to the clinical findings. Extra abdominal pain. Now we are going to talk about the extra abdominal pain. Uh, in extra abdominal pain, there could be uh, due to the endocrine and metabolic causes, infectious infections and inflammatory, hematological disorders, uh, referred pain, and toxin and drugs. In endocrine and metabolic causes, there could be uremia, diabetic ketoacidosis, Addisonian crisis, in infections and inflammatory. Uh, this could be systemic lupus erythematous, hanoch, sclenonic, uh, lenic, purpura. In hematologic causes, there is acute leukemia, referred pain. Uh, it could be myoc myocardial infections, infarctions, basal pneumonia or pleurisy, acute pericarditis, and toxin, toxic and drugs. Uh, this is due to could be due to lead or other heavy metals poisoning. So, if the extra abdominal pain, uh, 
the we should ask for the timing and onset of pain associated uh, associated with the nausea and vomiting bowel habit um, diarrhea suggestive of acute gastroenteritis malina suggestive of peptic ulcer disease known renal disease or diabetes suggestive of uremia or diabetic ketoacidosis or dka skin rashes it suggests the sle or hanok sclerotic hanok um, cough and sputum suggestive of uh, pneumonia and known ischemic uh, heart disease or hypertension so if this uh, uh, for the extra abdominal pain uh, we should look for the pulse blood pressure uh, temperature respiratory rate level of hydration can get extreme dehydration in gastroenteritis and diabetic ketoacidosis lymph uh, lymph adenopathy uh, uh, leukemia notice uh, unusual smell on breath uh, it suggests the ketones in diabetic ketoacidosis notice abnormal respiratory pattern uh, in kusmal's respiration deep levered breathing associated with metabolic acidosis uh, abdominal examination for tenderness masses bowel sound corneal orifices for obstructed hernia joint swelling in sle skin rashes in sle and hsp uh, cardiovascular and respiratory examination for source of report pain the uh, uh, investigation should be done uh, in case of this extra abdominal pain uh, cbc uh, esr creatinine and electrolyte blood glucose arterial blood gas uh, if suspected of DB dka stool rme helpful in gastroenteritis urine uh, for the protein or uh, blood uh, it helps to diagnose the SSP and renal disease uh, it's easy to exclude the MI and for acute pericarditis uh, cardiac troponin uh, uh, in note uh, the SLE leads to abdominal pain uh, through the vasculitis and mesenteric ischemia uh, in next video we'll talk about the acute abdominal pain uh, in localized